Hello my G's. Today we're going to be making a small batch of donuts. I thought that the camera was on, but it was not. And in this bowl, I have a half a cup of, um, a half a cup of flour, gluten-free flour, an eighth of a cup of sugar and I seasoned it up with some cinnamon. I'm going to start heating my oil. Let's mix this up to make sure everything is incorporated a little looser than I would like. I'm going to add some more flour to this. There. Make sure this fire isn't too high. There we go. There, that's more like it. It's hot. I'm just going to drop them in. You know what? Let's make it interesting and pipe the batter in. a makeshift pastry bag. And I'm just going to cut the tip off. I think this is ready. Yep. Kind of like churros. Well, the donuts are done and my chop is done, but I think that I needed to leave it in a little bit longer because some of it is getting melted under these hot lights but i'll show you this is how it came out okay hmm that's good i like the um salted caramel and these are my churros I should have let both the, the churros and the chocolate cool off a little bit before I put it on the donuts, but um, I was in such a hurry, <laughs> I wanted to taste it. So the next time, because it, it kind of like soaked into the donut a little bit, we'll see how it tastes.
Yeah. I would have much preferred the chocolate sitting on top. I'm going to take one of these candy bars and put it on top. <laughs> and see how that tastes. But the, the donut part itself is very tasty. And you know, if you're not gluten free, you don't have to use gluten free flour. You can use any kind of flour you want. Um, but this is, that's just, you know, I'm gluten free, so that's what I used. Hmm. Good. And the good thing about making your own chocolate, if you're gluten free or if you have any kind of dietary restrictions, you can make it to suit your needs. <clears throat> For me, being able to guarantee that the chocolate is gluten free is a big deal. <clears throat> because lots of times they'll make chocolate I'm sorry for my voice sometimes I can't control it <laughs> um, sometimes they'll make chocolate in a facility that processes wheat or wheat products um, and sometimes they have actual wheat in the chocolate because gluten is um Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, and sometimes they might use wheat as a thickener, and it's so important to read labels. I know that Hershey, Hershey's chocolate is gluten-free, so if I'm going to buy a candy bar, it's going to be a Hershey bar or something made by Hershey Company. Well, of course, cookies and cream isn't gluten-free, but... Their straight chocolate is gluten free. Um, <clears throat> but this way you can have all kinds of things, all kinds of chocolate. It's gluten free. Mm. When it's room temperature, this chocolate is very creamy. See, the bad thing about making your own chocolate is that you can have chocolate whenever you want. <laughs> and for me, I don't think that's a good thing. So, this thing that I've started here, eh, I don't know. But anyway, now you know how to do it. The next time, I think I'm going to put a little more... Um, I don't know. I have to figure out something to keep it from being so melty. But it is good. It is really good. Hmm. So, if you like chocolate, and you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Even if you don't like chocolate, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And the notification bell so that you know the next time I get crazy in the kitchen. In the meantime, always remember to count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody else and be kind to yourself. Until next time. <laughs>